how you doing? Uh, hopefully this will be a quick one. I just wanted to comment on the second article in days that I've read about blaming marijuana on young people having heart attacks and heart conditions. It's absolute crap. Straight up. The side effects from the snake shot that they're giving people now is making young people drop dead. Period. I, like I said, two soccer players in the last month dropped dead on the field from cardiac arrest. They were revived. A hockey player, 24 years old, super healthy, got all his shots, dropped dead on the ice, and he's gone. These things aren't being reported. And so what they're doing is they're trying to cover for it by using marijuana as an excuse for all the new health ailments for all the young people that are getting the snake shot. It's absolute bullshit and it's horrible. They should be ashamed of themselves. It's, I'm serious. It's absolute crap. If they want to talk about the cocaine use, I actually had a gentleman next to me yesterday that was, was actually, was, was, I don't know if it was crack or if it was meth, but he was sitting there smoking meth next to me. It was horrible. I didn't want to go knock on his window and tell him how terrible it was. I'm sure that guy's going through the dark night of the soul just to be doing that shit to himself. But for these globalist bullshit editors and these magazines to be using marijuana as an excuse to cover for all these snake shot ailments, which primarily are heart conditions. So I just wanted to get that out to the public right now. This is absolute shit. I mean, I like I said, I've used marijuana for years. And as a matter of fact, when I quit taking the prescription medication for my back pain and I, I switched to marijuana, it's night and day. I don't do dabbing or any of that crap. Not really heavy into that stuff. I just smoke flour, natural, in a pipe. But that's part of my, you know, my pain management. Before, I was taking Norco's four times a day and three 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. I quit taking all that crap and I don't miss it at all. My health went up. I don't have any of that fog that I had taking all these pills. I don't have to go take blood tests twice a year for my kidneys, you know, so they don't fail or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So don't listen to these asshole crap articles that are coming out blaming marijuana for the new heart conditions that are coming on to the young people today. It's bullshit. It's a snake shot. It's plain and simple. It needs to come out more. People need to know. People need to fight it. Don't take it if you don't need it. If you're healthy, I wouldn't take, trust them fuckers anyway. All the same evil human beings like Fauci that are, you know, torturing dogs and monkeys and everything else, scumbags, absolute fucking evil human beings, you know, they're the ones in charge of this and they're pushing. Oh, he just he had a quote the other day of how, you know, individual rights are being misunderstood and they, su and they don't supersede the societal, you know, needs. Basically saying you don't have any right to say no to it. Absolute scumbags. Absolute evil. So quit blaming marijuana for your snake shots. It's not going to work. And I'm letting people know every chance I get. It just fires me up, man. I hate disinformation. I hate lies and deceit. Just, it bugs the shit out of me. I'm a Taurus, man. You know I ain't going to, you know, I'm the emperor and the empress of my universe. Nobody's going to bullshit me. Especially not no stupid article from SpaceX or any of those other crap. It's just all crap. Any article you read nowadays is usually globalist funded. You know, so that's it. So don't believe what you read. Use your imagination. Use your thought pattern. Use your common sense to know what's going on right now. Read the in between the lines. Know that there are people having suffering. There are a lot of, a lot of sports professionals. They're retiring. Their, their careers are being ruined by taking the snake shot. Google it. Search it. Find out for yourself. Don't believe me. Believe what you, you know, what you research. Don't believe what these hacks are, are printing in these articles. Because, like I said, it's absolute crap. Whew. I just hate when people lie. It's just, and it's just, the second article, within days that I read about that. And it's all about heart conditions of the young people. And it's just, they don't talk about vaping. They don't talk about their sedimentary lifestyle sitting in front of a, a screen. I did a video about, you know, m um, millennial men, you know playing Xbox all the time instead of running or jogging or humping their girlfriends. These are health conditions they need to, to focus on, not not marijuana. I mean, there's there's these dabs that they do, which is horrible anyways. It's really concentrated marijuana. I would never do that. And that might be an issue, but I don't think it is. I think it's the, the snake shot. I think they're trying to cover for the, the effects that are going to be happening soon. It's going to get worse. 
And people, and instead of blaming on what it is, they're going to blame it on marijuana, which is absolutely ridiculous. They should have legalized marijuana federally years ago. Obama, what a horrible fucking human being. He promised that he would legalize that federally. I voted for that prick the first time. He, not only that, let me go, let me go on a little side note real quick. Slavery. Yes, slavery. Slave markets exist in this world where men, women, especially children are being bought and sold. And these assholes can do whatever they want to once they buy them. Look it up. Google it. It's true. The Middle East, Africa, China has concentration camps. They have slave labor camps. And Obama, the first black president, should have smashed all that shit in the first place. He should have been calling these countries saying, look, you need to squash this shit today. Or I'm gonna, me and my boys are going to come and I'm going to have the Green Berets. We're going to have special forces. We're going to have SEALs. And we're going to come burn down those houses. You know what I mean? Slavery still exists in this world. And that's, that's another thing that just will get me fired up to no end. So, like I said, don't believe the globalist bullshit. Do the research and find out for yourself. Educate yourself. And most of all, love yourself so you don't get fooled by this bullshit. Because it is. It's bullshit. Absolutely. And now you know why my content's not for children. <laughs> because I'm not Disney. I'm, I'm real life. I try to be love and light. And I want you to be happy and live in the light. And, but these, these evil fuckers are trying to push us into the brink, right? And we're better than that. we got to unite against this garbage. We will. It's getting better. It's getting better. I like it. I love it. Because like every day you're going to read the news how these globalists are going to start falling. Their lies are going to be revealed. Fauci getting revealed for his torturing dogs and shit like that. PETA should be over there fucking burning those buildings down. But they're not. Because they're bullshit just like everybody else. Anyways, animals come first. Anyway, I love animals. They're so awesome. Especially dogs. How dare they. Anyway, I love you. God loves you and the universe really digs you. And don't buy the bullshit. Believe yourself, not what you hear. Believe your mind and your thoughts and your heart. And you will not be fooled by these losers. Anyway, have a wonderful day.